talk to you today about the Autumn Breeze Natural Clip-In Extensions. Um, I have Danielle here. We're at Spa Sante, which we do carry the Autumn Breeze Clip-Ins. You can also find them on autumnbreeze.com. So we're going to start putting them in by creating a horizontal section about an inch above the nape of her neck. kind of do it freehand and see where it fits on the head and where you want to create more length. They all come 20 inches. You can get them custom order. It could be longer if you want. I'm going to work my way up doing another inch because we want to create a fuller um, perimeter because she has shorter hair. So if they don't stay, if they're if right, they're slipping a little bit, you can tease the root a little bit by just back combing with the brush with the comb at the root where the clip is gonna go. Okay. And this one will probably put the three clip in. There is about nine to ten pieces for the whole head. It's good for anybody's whole head. To blend naturally. Here are the different colors. There is about 30 colors. And if you, if it doesn't match perfectly, that's okay because nothing is sitting at the top of your head. Um, it can be a little bit off, as mine are. I do a level six for my hair. It's a little warmer than my natural, but it blends very well because everyone has natural dimension in their hair. We have one extension that's gonna come with four clips and that's gonna be at the widest part of your head, right above the ear. So that will be the same for everyone. They feel comfortable, Danielle? Yes. No pinch-in pulling? No pinch-in pulling. You can already see how much length that you have already. Okay. We're just going to blend it, keep blending it the whole way up. This is where we're going to put the one with four clips. Have you put them in at home by yourself? I have. Was it difficult? Not at all. Very easy. side now and I'm gonna let her put some men so you can see her do it herself. You can see that section how that is in there. You do a little bit of coming for her. We're gonna put in one of the um two. Probably an inch away from the perimeter of your hair is safe just because that's naturally finer and they have some baby hairs there. <coughs> you don't want to see the track.
point for shorter hair is you want to create the perimeter first because the top layers are going to blend over as if you have regular layers with the longer perimeter. side, one on the back, and then one to her heavier side of her bang area. Just to break up the short pieces and the long pieces. If you have naturally curly hair, you may not have to tease the root. It'll stay in just by you clipping it in there. But for finer hair, you will have I'm going to do just a little bit right here for her bang. Put the last one in. And then you'll see how well that blends. And you just brush it over all the edges. She just added all those inches to her hand. Give me 360. 